Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. It is time to start picking corn and filling up our corn crib. You might remember when we built this, we showed you the build and how we made it mouse proof, quote unquote. Didn't uh, stay 100% mouse proof and we had a few mice right at the end. It didn't cause us much damage, but we got to stop it. So I put rat guard under the metal, but I don't know where they're coming in. I went ahead and packed those ribs with concrete so that'll for sure seal the deal on that. Now we had a few squirrels getting in under the eaves and we gotta put wire mesh or something to stop them there. We gotta have the ventilation so we can't just block it off, but we'll take care of that later. We've gotta get the corn picked now. Let's get with it. This is our field of corn. I cultivated this thing meticulously and after the corn got too tall to get the tractor in, the weeds came up anyway, but it was clean enough to grow the corn, and that's the main thing is to get the crop. The weeds, not very fun, but hey, I've got a bush hog. I'm going to bush hog the rows after we pick them so that we'll have clean area to work to throw our corn into the wagon. That way we won't be losing corn that falls out of the wagon. It'll be easy to find, so we're gonna get with it. All of the corn that's on this side that's already been mowed down, David fed to the pigs already. So that's why it's not here. <laughs> why not? I get like a bird. I don't oh, you got one on your hat, son. I don't eat it. Oh, <laughs> uh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Be a cooker bird man this time. <laughs> hey, it didn't come off. You probably have quite a few questions about this corn. Number one, I'm sure what kind of corn is it? If you haven't been following this channel, you have no reason to know. This is Trucker's Favorite. It is a white, open pollinated corn that is really good. Non GMO, it is awesome. The animals love it, they eat it up. Your second question may be, why are you leaving the shucks on it when you throw it in the, in the corn crib? And the reason is, shucks are an extremely drying agent. We live in a humid environment here in Tennessee. Everything molds. So the shucks with the silk in it prevents it from molding. It's super dry. If you don't believe that, shuck all day with your hands and you'll find out your hands will be dry as cracker juice. So we leave the shucks on it, not because we're lazy, but because it will prevent mold. We got a lot of rain coming up the next couple weeks, so we gotta keep, keep them moving. Trucker's favorite, grows a nice ear. Nice, nice ear. There's nothing about it that isn't great. People grow a lot of hybrid corn to get nice big ears, but you don't have to can grow Trucker's Favorite or some other variety that's like it that is just as good and healthy. All right, Matt, pull up. Oh. Your next question is going to be probably, how do you grow corn that size? Do you fertilize? And I say, yes, I fertilized. I used crimson clover. I planted crimson clover in the spring and plowed it under about, uh, about mid-May and planted this year, I'm going to plant my clover in this field today. Yeah, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> Come on, everybody, get you some water. There you go, sir. And we swing right around here and see, whoa, big guy. We got you some corn pig now, boy. Oh, you missed. Here we are, boy. Here's a little piece of runt corn, not very big. Oh, he said, thank you very much. Yes, sir, anytime, buddy. I just gave him one, but if you want to give him one, that'd be all right. Make sure to throw it up. Don't leave it in that water. There you go.
What do you think about that big boy? We've just about got this field knocked out. All right, we're done with this field. We're we'll gonna head over to the other side of the property and get started. We got three more fields to go. Right here is where we cut the corn for the silage. And we have that silage video. You've never seen silage made that way if you've seen silage made. And over here is what we didn't get done. It got too late on us and too dark and we lack about four rows right up through there. And we're just gonna leave it as an experiment, see how it does if it's frosted in the early dough stage and see how that goes. I've got this, as you can see, disced. I've already got the red fife wheat sewed in there. So we're excited about that. We might get us some bread wheat. So we're gonna head on around the corner here. We got three fields back there we gotta pick. Better field, ain't it? Better field. And it ain't got much cooker bird here either. Got more weeds. Yeah. Better ears. Better, better, better ears. Good Can I deal. Good That's some good clover right there. This is our deer hunting property. But we grow the corn for the pigs, not for the deer, to be honest with you. The deer really preferred the clover anyway. You guys might recognize this field. This is the field where I grew the corn that was over 12 feet tall. And you can see that this corn is consistently, the ears are consistently at my head level or above, and I'm six foot two inches. So this corn, it's the same trucker's favorite corn, but boy, it grew good in this field. Never used a drop of chemical fertilizer. It just had the good old crimson clover. that field there. Time to get this field here done. <laughs> oh Lord. You're getting too old for this Frank. All right. 
right, we got this field done. We got to head up in that field. There's the last load. That is all of our truckers' favorite. We have a couple more fields that I uh, hope to show you later that have a couple different kinds of corn that I'm trying to keep seed going to. But this is it for truckers' favorite. So we've got that picked. This is the earliest we've ever finished on it. We didn't have the leisure of time. We had to get it done. So we got it knocked out. Been a long day, but we got it knocked out. We certainly appreciate you watching, but that's all we've got for you today. We'll see you on the next video.